Let's talk about credit scores. What's up everybody and welcome to Master Money. My name is Andrew, I'm the host of the Personal Finance Podcast and founder of mastermoney.co. And today we're gonna be talking about what impacts your credit score. Understanding what impacts your credit score is extremely important because your credit score could mean you save hundreds of thousands of dollars over the course of your life. Why? Because your credit score dictates what your interest rate on a mortgage is or what your interest rate is when you go get a car. And so all of these factors add up over time because just a 1% interest rate differential means that it could be tens of thousands of dollars over the course of your life. So if you stack these up, over time, this makes a significant difference. And if you invest the difference between how much you save just by having a good credit score, you're gonna see a massive, massive difference that could amount to up to a million dollars. Million. So that is why this is so important. But enough chit chat, let's get into it. So the first thing to understand and the biggest factor when it comes to your credit score is your payment history. And your payment history is 35% of your credit score. So it is almost one third of your credit score. It's actually over one third of your credit score. So payment history means that you need to be paying your bills on time. This is the thing everybody thinks about when it comes to their credit score. And it's for good reason, because your payment history is the biggest factor when it comes to your credit score. So making sure your bills are paid on time and everything is paid in a timely fashion is extremely important. The second thing that makes up your credit score is the amount amount that you owe. Amount owed is 30% of your credit score. So making sure that you're keeping balances low and keeping your credit utilization low is extremely important. So what is credit utilization? That means that if you're allowed to have $10,000 taken out for credit, say you have a credit card and it allows you to have a $10,000 limit. Well, if you take out $7,000 of that $10,000 and don't pay it off, then that means you're using 70% credit utilization. That is not a good thing. People with superb or extremely high credit scores, the average credit utilization for those folks is 7%. So making sure you're keeping your credit utilization low and keeping your balances low will make sure that your credit score actually rises to the top. The third major factor is credit history. So this is why a lot of people, when they start off life, say you have an 18 year old or a 17 year old and they're starting to go off to college, they say, go ahead and go get a credit card and just put your gas on that credit card and pay it off every single month. Because what that does, it allows you to start up your credit history. And this is 15% of your credit score. So making sure that you have a long line of credit history is extremely important. In fact, the folks with credit scores over 795, the average had at least 12 years or longer of credit history. So this is extremely impactful and extremely important. I personally was able to achieve a credit score above 800 in just a couple of years, but I started with a blank slate. So if you start off right, making sure your bills are paid off and your credit utilization is low, then you could have a high credit score much sooner. The fourth impact on your credit score is new credit. So each time you apply for a loan or you open up a new credit card, it's going to take a ding on your credit score. Now, if you're only doing it once or twice a year, it's not gonna be a major impact, but if you're constantly opening up cards or getting car loans or getting a mortgage or all these things, you're gonna have multiple dings on your credit score. And these dings are called inquiries. And the more inquiries you have on your credit score, the worse it is for your credit score. So one way to make sure that you actually keep your credit score high is to wait six months in between each inquiry. So if you're gonna open up a credit card or go get a mortgage or go get a car loan, just wait six months in between each one. Now, if you're gonna open up a mortgage, I wouldn't open up anything even close to starting that process. But making sure that you keep these inquiries low is how you build up your credit score higher. And then the final deciding factor is credit mix. And that's just the different types of accounts that you have. Do you have a couple of credit cards? Do you have a mortgage? Do you have a car loan? What type of credit mix do you have? And this is 10% of your credit score as well. So listen, if you're trying to build up your credit score, then focus on the big ticket items, your payment history, making sure your bills are paid on time, and making sure that your balances are low, that your amount owed stays low. That's how you build up a great credit score because that is 65% of your credit score, just those two items alone. Listen, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you learned about how credit scores work. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell and we'll see you on the next video.